So let me go on. Um, so yesterday I saw this bullish divergence on DXY. And you know, all of us know what DXY is. DXY is dollar index. DXY is what yeah. us, what dollar is doing. And as we all uh -huh. know, whenever dollar is going up, um GU and EU and any any um, dollar coated pair will be going down. And why DXY is going up? Um, either GU, EU, Bitcoin, or whatever will be going up. So seeing this bullish divergence, you know what? Like on Saturday that we had our meeting, I explained bullish and bearish divergence to you guys. What you expect whenever you see bullish divergence and what you expect whenever you see bearish divergence, right? So yes. uh, yesterday I saw this bullish divergence here. And you know, this place here, this zone here, I didn't mark it though, but I'm looking at it as my area of support. We know what support and resistance is. It's not just yes. support, it's a zone. zone. Why is it? Yeah. It's a zone because we have support here, we have resistance here, we have support here again, then we have resistance. So this place now is a zone for me. So what I'm now looking at, I'm looking at DXY to do something like this, breakout proper, retest, and then we come to this trend line coming down. So okay. we, having that in mind, that DXY, is about to go up. Now, what I will be expecting on GU and EU is what? Um, I will be expecting Excel. Excel, yes. Time frame on this GU. I have done my top down analysis. I will share my thought process on this GU. So looking at GU, checking GU on weekly time frame. GU was bearish. Checking it on daily time frame, GU was bullish and no, sorry, GU is bullish. Then on four hour time frame, GU is bullish also. Meanwhile, we are having this 30 minutes uh, bearish divergence on GU and GU is at a resistance zone. The resistance zone I'm talking about is at 30 minutes. But before we go down there, let me show you what I'm seeing on four hour. On this four hour time frame, I'm seeing this zone here. So I'm waiting for market to close maybe on London section, I think in two hours time, which is by 9 a.m. This candle will be closing. And if the candle closes below this zone, I'll be looking for, I'll be looking for a, a sell. And on 30 minutes, you know, four hour is just, um, uh, it's, it's just a time frame we use to, you know, determine the direction the market wants to go. So, yeah. since um, GU is bullish on four hour and bullish on four hour, the major move should be long. You understand, Bear? You see my DC now will be very short. It's just a short sell that I'll be expecting. But before I will sell this market, I will wait for this candle to close. So when this candle close during London session, then I will look for it. trade. Then on 30 minutes, on 30 minutes time frame, this place is a resistance per se. So when I analyzed this um, GU, market was sitting here. So I'm waiting. I, I actually, I supposed to take this trade from here. When I saw this engulfing candle, but following my trading plan, I don't like going against. I just want to maintain some levels of discipline when it comes to trading. Because okay. the most important thing is following your plan. The time you should yeah. trade, the time you should be out of trade. So I saw this around 3 a.m. in the morning. But I said, I'm not taking this trade, even though we are in the Asian session. Because I know that GU moves mainly by um, during London session, which is 9 a.m. 9 o'clock. Yes, 9 o'clock a.m. So by 9 o'clock a.m., if I see a clean break of this zone and this my trend line, because I already put uh, a FIB here. I put my FIB here from point A to point B, you know. If you put this start on line chart, we see that this thing is just on 
downtrend, but it is yes. hidden somehow, you know. This is area of support and our last um, higher low. Our market has broken it, though it did that slightly. So um, I will be waiting for this trade to break. Yes. Um, where is my? Though the trend line is breaking already. So if this trend okay. line breaks, wait. Um, so if this trend line breaks, and retest and the yes. retest now will be on the zone and trend down with test and if it yes. gives us nice candlestick formation we sell to this negative 61.8 yes you understand so this is what yes. I, well this is my thought process from gu then on eu we have the same thing happening that we don't have a break of structure, though. Uh, I saw this trade also by around um, 3 a.m. or so. I would have entered a trade from there. You know, I would have opened trades when this engulfing candle because I said, I said this, I said this zone, if the if market breaks it, not a zone, but a resistance zone anyway. If market breaks it and goes to an ascending channel. Yeah, this is we have a divergence there, so you can see the claim. Yes, there is divergence. Yeah, cool. So by 9 a.m. also, um, I think DBP and Euro is for London. So during that time, we are, I'm going to you know see once I see a retest of this trend line, I will enter it separately. So that's my thought process on um gbp gbp oh who sent it uh -uh. sonia you can hear me right yeah i can hear you Gloria, check your check your this thing maybe you didn't connect your audio well let me type on chando we are ending she can't hear. yeah Click on the fourth icon. No, I'm, I'm recording this. So on GJ, what I'm waiting for on GJ, you know, um, this is a trade yesterday. You know, on GJ, we have everywhere is bullish on GJ. Weekly is bullish, daily is bullish, power is bullish. So I'm looking for a buy on GJ, you know, and yesterday, yesterday we have yesterday we had um, we had this trend line break and retest here, and this mm -hmm. trade. So I was waiting, I was waiting for this trade. I missed trade yesterday, though yesterday I didn't trade at all. But I was just marking the chart and looking at the market. So yesterday we have this inverse head and shoulder. We have yeah. this ah, what did I just do? We have this um, inverse head and shoulder. We have this left shoulder, the head, the right shoulder. No, I made a mistake. We have no. Right and left shoulder. We have this left, we have yeah. shoulder, we have the head, we have this, we have the uh what's it called? We have the right shoulder. Then I was waiting for the break of this neckline. Yes. And, and you see the neckline was broken and retested. It's a very nice and potential trade that we have we would have capitalized on that made some money you know so i didn't see it and when i saw it i just saw this engulfing i think on 30 minutes that's an engulfing candle so i just put um the long sign i put the long sign at, at the 50 percent of the engulfing candle of in 30 minutes this engulfing candle here you know i'm stop loss below this week and you see from the market just moves more. Now it's going up. So my thought process now is 
I was waiting to see market break this zone, you know, when I woke up. You know, um, this DJ moves during Asian session. He moves during London session also, but he moves well in London session. So what I'm waiting for was for market to break this zone and retest it, which is yes, yes. I think if you go to 15 minutes, it will show clean break and retest. But now we're standing. Um, I'll be waiting for the market to retest this trend line again. That is why I put. I remember what I told you on Saturday. We are, we are, um, what is it called? Reactive traders, not predictive traders, you know. So I want the market. To what? We are trying to be more reactive than predictive in the market. Yes, yes. So that yes, is why yes. we don't set the limit here until market comes and gives a rejection of this trend line. Then that is when I will take the trade. Meanwhile, I must not wait for the trend line because we have the major trend line here broken. This is the major trend line. This is the major four hour trend line and it has been broken, you know. So this is our major okay. trend line that market have respected. We have broken it this morning on 30 minutes. So breaking it on 30 minutes and breaking a structure and breaking this high here. So my thought process for GJ is for market to either come here. The market retesting here will be a very nice entry for me. Let me delete this. You know, this will be a really wonderful, prosperous entry, you know, so. So this is what I will be looking for, for the day. So I don't know whether any of you have a question. Um, an idea, a trade idea that you are looking at, what you would like us to see pertaining to what you want to go over today. So thank you guys. Hey. Um I really don't have I I really don't have much like I really don't have a particular question now, but what I'm actually I'm still trying to figure now is my zones. Drawing my zones properly. Okay, drawing your zones properly. Yes. Um, what's happening? Can't see my. Yeah, she said she can't see the what was it called mute icon. She didn't connect her audio. That's what what the problem is. And I don't know. She should just wait. When we finish, I don't have much time to start. Um, okay, see what will happen. But you did you did a foundation assignment, right? Yes, yes, I understood those ones. Uh, foundation assignment uh, is just um, actually what um, what uh, this foundation is all about. For example, let me pull up a chart. Yeah. Let me go just pull up the chart. Yeah, let me let me pull up the plain chart to you. So marking out your zone. Number one, you know what zone is all about. You know, yes. if you did foundation assignment. If you did your foundation assignment, foundation assignment is just a clean explanation of what zone is all about. You know, zone is just when you have um, when you have this line here. When you have like this thing is your shop. Let's call it your shop, and you know, market come up. Somebody was going to his workplace and the person came to your shop, stopped, bought bread and coke, went back, went back home, came again, 
caught milk and bread, went back home. Then the next day, he was going to walk, he is coming to your shop, you are not around. He passed. You know, why coming back? You have opened your shop. Okay, he went to visit his uncle. He was going there around uh, 6 a.m. You have not opened your shop then. No, so he went to his uncle's house. He became hungry again. He was, he came to your shop. Balls and grand dress. Went back to his uncle's house. You know, hungry again, came to your shop. Bought rice and beans. Went back again. You know, um, now he's done at his uncle's house and he went back to his house. You know, he became hungry again. Came to your shop. Now bought only pure water. That it. Went back. Became hungry again. Came to your shop. And buy Zobo and Granot now. So if this man eventually, maybe something happened to him. What's the first thing they will look out for? They will look out for where, what did he eat? Did he eat poison? What, what happened to him? So, John is like a place like, I tried to explain it well um, on Saturday. Like, yes, yes. That yeah, that's a place that support and resistance, like, market okay. was going on. Market respected it. Why going on? After market have went to where he wanted to go, now coming back, market respected it again, respected it again, respected it again. Like oh. that's what zone is all about. Then oh. if you did your foundation assignment, um, sometimes if you if you became if you become confused on how to mark zone, you just turn your chart on. And why marking zone? Just focus on marking high, higher time frame zone, like four hour weekly and daily. You know, so that you know there is a lot Wait, of what do you do you mark zones? What about if you should see zones on one hour? Yeah, I'm, I do mark zone on one hour. Yeah, if it makes sense, I will I will mark okay. it. Okay. But yeah. your major structure is your four hour, right? Yeah, four hour is where we look at first. I will always, I always wait for four-hour candle to close before I now come to lower time frame. Okay. Okay. I think I'm fine. I think I'm fine. Yeah, you are trying. You are doing well. So. Thank you. My, 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 my trade on USJ, as in uh, USJ, UJ yesterday, USJPY, it's played out so well. Wow. So you're you on your laptop, right? Yeah, I'm on, lap I'm, on my, I'm on my laptop, but it's not presently on. So what I what did you join the meeting with? I'm using my phone. Is trade you on your phone? Yes, yeah, on my phone. Okay, just um share your screen on the chat. Don't okay. mean it's okay. All right. Okay, allow me to share. Gloria didn't connect her audio. She did not collect her audio. Allow me to share so I can share my screen. It's saying that only the host can share. You can share now. All right. Hey, wait. So documents. Is that my document? No, no, no. It's not there. Wait one minute. Let me just go through. Um, let me let me screenshot it because I really don't know. 
how to go about it, then I'll share yeah. it for my salary. Okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. Come up now. Uh -huh. Yeah, it's out now. So let me quickly share it. Um, I see the spirit of the game. Just leave the meeting. Come back. Do we see this icon? I'm coming. But after the class, I'm going to share it properly. Now. I just screenshot. Right? Right. Is that what? I'm not talking to you. Can you see it? I can see your screen. Oh, wow. Perfect trait. So, share your thought process. That would have been on your laptop. Have yes. I wish. Oh, wait, some for me. I need to take it to take like a few minutes for my laptop to come up. That's why I'm not on my laptop. Okay. What we have, we, when, when we come back, maybe tomorrow. Anytime we come back again, we will share your, we will share the trade. All and right, no problem. All okay. right, guys. Um, do have a wonderful day. Bye bye. Thank you. Yeah, bye. You're welcome. I will send in the video on the group. All right, no problem. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome.